Caramba. The hour of my execution is almost here. Darya, Darya, Darya. For the sinner, the curtain call has come. I know I may not sound it, but I may not sound it, but they are dead. I find myself a little afraid. Perhaps this is one of the things that God's humans have in common. Take a wipe, bro. Yeah, suppressor, not even there. आ तो सकते हैं क्या आप रूम चले जाओगे Dex Nuvelet, hereby declare, people of Fontaine, your sins are forgiven. What just happened? Was that bright light some sort of misdirection? <sighs> but since we're all still alive and haven't been dissolved, I assume whatever happened was good for us. It's time to end this. We must mete out punishment to that beast. But... Didn't you say just a moment ago that it can't be defeated? I have gained the strength sufficient to deal with it. Through certain means, I now have the ability to separate the power of the Primordial Sea from that creature. We should seize the opportunity to pursue our quarry. Traveler, now that the oratories can no longer function, I require an executor to help me mete out justice. The root of the calamities befalling Fontaine. The beast that enacts the prophecy. Its name is the All-Devouring Narwhal. Come with me, Traveler. The hour of execution has come.
Thanks for helping with the cleanup. It should have been my job, but it was just supposed to be a short private training session for me. I didn't think that my disciple and my master's pet would start brawling in the meantime. Well, actually, I had a feeling that it would happen at some point, but they bumped into one another earlier than I thought. What a blunder. I suppose I'll have to swing my sword three million times as penance. That power. Who are you, exactly? Uh, Paimon has an idea. From what she said earlier, she must be Child's master. Skirk, right? It's just that he gave us the impression that she was the... less... talkative person. I simply did not have anything to say to the weak. But you, on the other hand, managed to defeat the all-devouring Narwhal without using power from beyond this world. So you may speak to me as equals. I have to agree. It's a strange use of a planet's primordial waters just to raise an all-devouring narwhal. That kind of power is wasted on it. It's not cooperative. It eats too much. And I have more important things to do with my time than pet sitting. The only thing that creature has going for it is its looks. All in all, it fails as a pet. I... Uh, miss... Skirk? Uh, I think you might have missed the point. The point being? Well, being that this pet almost destroyed an entire nation. So what sort of person is your master? Well, child's master's master. Wait, is that right? Oh, right. So you don't know him. Sorry, I assumed you did. His name is Sir Teloji. I am unfamiliar with that name. Huh. So Master is insufficiently famous. Hmm. How should I describe him then? Have you heard of the name The Fowl? The Fowl? Still nothing? Well, how about The Visionary? Vetterfulnir then? Or Gold Rhine Daughter? She's Albedo's mom, right? Oh, so you do know that name. To be honest, I also heard all of those names and titles from my master. I don't actually know them either. But I suppose you understand now, yes? My master is likely a similar sort to Rhyndaughter. They are both pursuing some form of perfection. Wait, didn't you also mention a visionary person? Paimon didn't quite catch their name. Actually, never mind that. I believe it expedient to inform you that the all-devouring Narwhal used up nearly all its strength fighting you. Such roiling hydro energies will prove difficult for the planet's deep seas to digest. As such, the Fontaine back on the surface has most likely been thrown into chaos. In other words, the prophecy that you've been fretting over should now be in full swing. What? Not to worry. Fosalor has already managed to deceive the Heavenly Principles. In the end, the people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only Farina will remain, weeping on her throne. Then, will the sins of the people of Fontaine be washed away?
initiate emergency rescue. Oh, Ezra. <laughs> 